Hello all, welcome to Oracle Cloud Technical Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about how to make, you, make use of Oracle free services for 30 days. So there are some of the services which Oracle provides for free, and there is one particular service which is even free after 30 days, which was announced recently in the open world. Let's see how we can make use of that. So navigate to the cloud.oracle.com website. And now I'm here, cloud.oracle.com website. And maybe you can just try again cloud.oracle.com website here and it just navigates here and click on Oracle cloud free tire and then click on start for free that's it so it will ask you to enter the email address and it will ask you to enter the territory I think with the country so now in this I'll just say so I'll just enter my website so let's see whether, yeah, here if you observe for using this email address, I already registered, that's why it will not allow me to register it again, right? So I'll just enter a new email address, okay? And now I'll just select the country, right? And then click on next. Maybe you can select the country in which you are leaving. And there are few countries in which Oracle is having data center. Make sure that you select the appropriate one. Yep. Now I'll just say, Right, so it says one. Um, okay, I think they will not allow you to do, use dots. Yeah, and here if you observe, this is a personal use, right? If I just click on company use, right? Both are same. Yeah. Okay, so better use for personal use, right? And now here the list of locations which Oracle is having data centers, right? So. In India, we have in Mumbai, right? In US, you have three locations. So respective locations, you have it. And I'll select the appropriate data center location, which is nearest for you, right? I'll just select. I'll just select this one. Right, and enter your location details and mobile number details. And once you enter mobile number details, it will validate your mobile number also. Okay, so I don't want to re register again. I'll just navigate through the registration process which I have performed. Right, so now once you enter your email details, country details, right, then you'll get into the place where you have to enter your account details. Right, mention the cloud account name. Right, this is the cloud account name. Nothing but when you navigate to Oracle Cloud, you like here if you observe, it provides navigation with your cloud account name. Right. And then mention the data center which is nearest for you. Mention your user details like your first name and last name. And then you enter your location details, mobile number. It will validate the mobile number so that make sure that you have the valid mobile number you mentioned. And then after that, it will validate the address. Once you pop ups, once it pop ups with this particular screenshot, just make use of click on use original. Validate the mobile number with the OTP it sends to you to your mobile. And after that, enter the password valid according, according to the criteria which it is uh, validating, right? Once the password user uh, password is entered, then it will ask you to enter the payment information. Oracle will not charge anything for you, but it will just perform a debit and credit kind of transaction to just validate the authenticity of a user. So you can also enter for the debit card. It says added credit card, but it will work with the debit card also. Once it is done, the payment is confirmed, and now. The cloud account creation is in process. This may take around five minutes or two minutes based on the uh, what you say usage of Oracle Cloud and based on the bandwidth. There are a lot number of other factors comes into picture. It will take some time, and you'll also receive an email once it, once this is get once this gets completed. Right? Generally, it takes more than just within five minutes. It'll it'll get finished. Right? So I just got created it in five minutes, and once the process of cloud account got created you also receive an email and also there itself it, let us see if you are if you don't if you want to wait it just please wait there itself and it'll just take five minutes for you and it will navigate on another screen or else let us say you know like it is taking time just leave it like that and also you can close it later on you know like for some time you'll receive an email from cloud oracle with this following information it'll tell you what is a navigation for your cloud account to navigate right so if we just observe in my case right so this was an email which i received so here Sign into Oracle Cloud. I'll just click on the sign into Oracle Cloud. So here, if you observe, it is mentioning that console.ap-mumbai, right? Mumbai was a data center and tenant is equal to nothing but our cloud account is equal to, right? This was my cloud account name, Sriram Cloud. And then 
that's how it will navigate so as i already signed in you know like it is not asking me to enter the credentials again right and after that once it will perform once you sign into the oracle cloud so this is sign in process it will tell you like which was your cloud tenant let us say if you are working with a client which is having a i mean you may have a different instances right so make sure that you have mentioned the appropriate instance or maybe if you are working with a different demo instances may make sure that always check the tenant which you are logging in the instance right the tenant and this is a login navigation screen where it will get shown to you once you log into cloud so this is a place where we are in right so as a developer you know like uh, the services which we make use of it right so maybe i'm coming from the oracle cloud erp background so that you know like the most of services what we generally use is database as a service java cloud as a service integration cloud as a service as well as a visual basic cloud as a service and these are the major services we generally come across so what you do is once you navigate to oracle cloud once the registration process uh, what you say it's confirmed or you know like successful what you can do is navigate here click on this hamburger icon and just observe some of the services and you know like uh, from our oracle cloud erp point of view the i'll just try to concentrate on those services so you just navigate here and see more oracle cloud services right so here in the platform services these are the very important services which we will be concentrating on the first one i would like to concentrate is on the integration cloud services right click on integration here now the registration the oracle cloud registration based process is done now we have to instantiate the appropriate appropriate you know like uh, the cloud service which we want to enable by default it will not enable all the services you just need to enable the service which you want it so now in our case we want to enable integration cloud services we have to navigate to integration cloud services and here what you do is you have to create an instance for it by default it will not create instance for you we have to manually create one instance for it so what you do is it will you know like you have an option there are multiple options here you can also click you can click on create instance or you can click on quick starts don't click on create instance generally this doesn't work i tried multiple times it doesn't work the best option is click on quick starts and once you click on quick starts it just provide it just it just ask you what is your instance name of your ics mention the instance name and simply click on create you can make a make use of either of them standard or enterprise there is a little bit different set of features which are available for the enterprise as well as standard obviously enterprise provides more feature so i'll just select enterprise and click on create this may take around 5 or 10 minutes depends upon the number of factors of oracle okay i'll just cancel here because i already have a service and similarly you can also do, do the same process for the VZ, vbcs also right so i'll just click on this hamburger icon platform services and you can select visual basic cloud services also same process and this is a, this is for vbcs and other one digital assistant digital is assistant is for the chatbot development and java is for the java cloud services and the other one which i want to show is database cloud services so classic data management services just yes, you have to just click on database classic once you click on database classic it will go to the dbcs page and here again click on create instance it will ask you to mention some of the properties here and based on that once you mention them it will get created right so now one more thing i want to show you is i just want to show you a sample web service of ics right and now i'll just navigate back to this home here and here i'll go to platform services click on integration cloud services right yeah where am i yeah integration and my services i already created an instance right so the service should have been active for me i'll just click on this hamburger icon see whether this service is stopped or started or it is available or not just click on it yeah i'll just click on start so once you create the instance right by default again it will not start by default you have to manually start it once yeah it will get started it'll just take a few minutes just try again click if you just click on this one if it is started already it will allow you to click on open oracle integration home page here if you observe my ICS instance name was Sri Ram ICS. When I click on Open Oracle Integration Homepage, see the URL what it provides. It will provide the instance name followed by the cloud account name followed by integration.ocp.oraclecloud.com. Oraclecloud.com. Yep. So I'm in the integration cloud service now, right? So if you are coming, if you are working on the integration for the first time, the best and easiest thing here, if you observe, is so click on integrations i will not get deeper into the integration right now i'll take i'll take the integration classes in the next session 
in the coming session but in this session i just want to show you one simple service how do you invoke it right so once you get into the integration so here oracle provides some set of samples for the developer to work on right so what are the services which are enabled which are available what you can do is just make them active you know just click on the switch and you know it will take some time to get activated once it is activated just click on you know how to run it will provide you the url right so just click on this endpoint url now this is the endpoint url which you have to use it for the purpose of invoking this particular rest web service this is a rest web service so what i do is i'll just copy this one sorry i'll just copy this url right and let us say this is my rest web service and this is a message we have to provide hello ics i'll just say hello ics i'll just copy i'll go to the rest web service here sorry soap ui so by default you cannot test any web service on the ics platform unlike dell bomi let us if you have already worked on dell bomi you can test any of the web services within the dell bomi instance itself but in ics you don't have the choice once you got the url got generated for your web service copy that you have to use any of the soap ui tool or a postman tool to test the web services i'll just click on rest here mention the url here and mention the credentials basic authentication i'll just yeah so always remember the credentials is very tough because you have some set of credentials for different information but yeah you have to remember so i just entered the credentials clicked on run yeah click on json because the output was json that's the reason it provides information to json right so can you see hello ics i'll just try again i'll just change the message here ics is good i'll just click again click on run and you have to see the latest message now perfect right so now we have we have seen how do we register oracle cloud account and how do you enable the ics instance and similarly you can try for the other instance other services also the the process could be different nothing but you know the credentials what you have to enter the information what you have to enter could be a little bit different but you have to try it right so the best services for the oracle erp i mean the erp developer are java cloud service database service and sova visual base visual build cloud service sova service as well as developer cloud service and dbcs right so just make use of the uh, oracle this free trial access and you know like uh, try to register and you know you can program you can just work on it right thank you